I've always say, I'm gonna take 10% of my money, I'm gonna tie because I'm a man of God. Then I'm gonna take 10% of my money and I'm gonna go find. Hold on, stop, stop, stop minutes. there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not going past that one too quick. It, Ma Master P takes 10% of his money in tides? Yes. That's oh. why that's how, that's how that's how my business stays. I love oh my goodness, I love that. We're gonna stick on that because I was interviewing Rodney Jerkins not too long ago. And he's the only brother who I've ever sat and talked with, and we were able to, to have just a few minutes on faith. Yes. And he, he understood, Sean, all these hits that I done created, yeah. they didn't come out of nowhere. Yeah. I gotta give back yeah. to the creator. Yeah. People, let me tell you something. When you understand that, you'll be successful a long time because every time you take that 10%, God will multiply that. You, you'll get ten folds of everything that you get. He wants you to be fruitful. He, he wants you to be successful. He wants you to have more. I love that you said that. And I'm so, and I'm going to make a segment out of this because I want the world to know. Master P, hip hop yeah. mogul, pays yeah. 10% to the Lord, 10% of all his earnings yeah. as he I mean, should. Not only me, my son do that, all my kids do that, Rome do the same thing. Like that is how we was raised. And we realized that's the only thing that's keeping up. Even when, when it looked like, people don't realize when it looked like it's gonna be rough, when you take care of God, he always take care of you. That's right, that's right. I, I wanna change the conversation real quick. Yeah. You are known for taking care of your family. Yes. From day one, you brought your family with you, your friends, your family, yes. you brought them all with you. Yes. I, I want to turn this around a little bit because I hear yes. you talking about it and you tapped on it in the beginning of the interview and I've seen other interviews that you've done. Can yes. you speak to the weight yes. that comes with being the bank for yes. your family and yes. also the weight that the, the 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 let's just call it the provider the the, the financial provider for the family the yeah. weight that comes with just saying that simple word no because yeah. at some point people come to you and they come to you and they come to you yeah. and they don't realize all of the other expenses that you have in your life and the first time that you tell them no yeah. Then you become the worst person on earth. You're not taking care of yeah. such and such when they have their own family. So it, 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 speak to I, that? Think, I think the most important thing with that, God know the truth and they know the truth. But I think it's, it's, it's sad because only African-Americans mostly have to go through this. I don't see too many white families have to go through this. And I think people come once you're successful, they're entitled, whether they're family members or friends. But what if you didn't go and work for your dreams and your goals, and you was just at the same space they are? Then you owe nobody nothing. They'll, they'll be happy with you. They'll be happy sitting in the ghetto with you, smoking a cigarette, drinking a beer with you, and just laughing and talking about none of us gonna make it out of here, but we just happy that we kicking it. So people got to realize that, you know, as you constantly help people, you also hindering them. You, you, you're really hindering them. And, and I had a chance to experience that because that's where the hate come from at the end. You know, people expect me to, I'm gonna tell you, I had a family member expect me to take care of their father. I'm like, if I brought your father a house and he lost it 20 years later, why is that my fault that you put a mortgage on it? Or you, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I thought I did a good deed for your father. What have you done for my father? What have you done for me? And it's sad that we have to go through that. And you love your people, but they are the only ones that can hurt you because you love them so much to where you, before you look at hurt, you'll love them from a distance and say, you know what, I just, I got to give them tough love. Mm -hmm. And I think 
most of us that are successful, you're going to deal with this. I'm, I'm, I'm creating a class, a Master P Master class on helping future millionaires and billionaires deal with family issues once you're successful, because I'm an expert at it now. Uh, people love you when you say, yeah, they hate you when you say no, they figure you change. Yeah, I have to change if I'm going to be successful. Think about it. You need to change too. That's my message to them. Don't be afraid to change. I'm human. I'm not God. I'm just doing the right things. That's why my sustainability is so long. God has blessed me to with 30 years, I'm still successful. That means I'm doing the right thing. And I didn't gave to so many. And I realize why so many billionaires and millionaires say they'll, they'll take the money they made and they'll donate it to charity when they're not here anymore instead of leaving it for ungrateful family members. And um, I'm never going to stop loving my family, but I'm not going to let them keep using me and, and thinking that I'm supposed to keep taking care of grown people. And I think any celebrity, any entertainer, any pro athlete, been going through this, but nobody's saying nothing about it. I feel like I had to take a stand on it and, and really let people know, even in my family, that I love y'all, but you know, it's time for y'all to start taking care of somebody. I did it for 30 years, you know, and I, and I always say, like people always say, what do you give the man that has everything? I say, what about a card? What about love? What about a just simple thank you? And if you could do that, then, we don't mind giving, but we're not going to give you no more to where we hinder you because some of y'all need to do something with y'all lives. I did it. I come from that same project you come from. What's the difference? I just wanted something. I'm not going to sit back there and drink and hang out with my friends and expect to have a nice car, or a nice house. Let's be honest. You get comfortable with being in the ghetto, so you're going to be in the ghetto. When you get uncomfortable being in the ghetto, you're going to get your ass out and go do something with your life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what I did. I'm no different. So anybody that understand that, and yeah, the media and the blogs, they're going to have fun with that because they don't have nothing else negative to say about you but what your family could say about you. All the good you do, they're not going to put that in the gossip, in the blog sites, no. And you got to understand that. That's just business for them. We get it. But for the people that really know the truth, because, you know, when it comes to doing stuff for family members, you got to wire, you got to wire money to bank accounts. It's information. It's receipts of all that. I got a lot of those. How many family members could say they wired me some money? How many families will say they took care of lawyers and stuff for me? And if somebody constantly doing that for you, even with my kids, if my kids keep doing something wrong, I'm going to cut them off. That's just life. That's just being a parent. I don't need to be a parent for grown family members that has their own family and kids. So I just think that we have to start being more responsible for ourselves. And I'm going to always love them, but okay, so you don't love me no more because I said no today. How crazy is that? Yeah, this is deep stuff. And um, it, 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 it's a conversation that needs to be had. Yes. It, it, it needed know. to be had, to be honest with you, because we are afraid to talk about this. Because you know what? People, oh, I'm going to go to TMZ. I'm going to go this. You ain't going to do this for me. Go. Go. Think about it. Like, that's my thing. When you're doing right, let God take care of the rest. God will make your enemies your footstool, it said in the Bible. And he'll make what some choose for evil, he'll turn it into good. There you go. So let's not, let's not be afraid to do what's right. Yeah, doing what's right going to be uncomfortable sometimes. But that's life. Then you move on and go do what you got to do. My thing was, no, my family never truly understand that. What if I gave up? I don't have to be Master P. Not too many people survive the entertainment business for 30 years. Think about it. I'm not even doing music. I don't care about the past. 
I diversified my portfolio into going to product because I realized in my life that I want more for my family. I want to build a generational wealth for my kids. Who's going to take care of my kids? And if I'm going to do the right thing, I need to stay focused on doing the right thing. I'm not going backwards. And that's any man. They say in the Bible, don't no man owe you nothing but love. And, and there's a lot of people out here that get caught up in, they want to be real. I told you, all the real people, all the real hood people are dead or in jail. I don't want to be real. I just want to do real stuff to help my people, help the, the unfortunate kids in the world, and help the elderly. And if my family don't get it, that's fine. I'm focusing on that. I made the money I have, I work for it, and I could give it to who I want. I'm going to invest in unfortunate kids' lives in the elderly. That's, that's where I'm going at with, with, my, with my money that I work for. And, I, and I, could choose, I could choose to do that because I feel like, you know, there's a lot of sick kids out here. There's a lot of uh, kids that live in underprivileged communities that really can deserve the help and will appreciate the help. And these kids will go on and blossom and do something to help the next generation. That's how we keep going. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, Feel free to share. Peace and love.